one of the challenges that we have in terms of diagnosing COVID is the turnaround time oftentimes that, that it takes to get test results back. So what we're hoping with this technology is that it would offer a point of care test that could be offered on a population level. Two Hamilton Health Sciences physicians are leading a six-month study into how to detect COVID-19 through breath. The study, being led by Dr. Mylin Duong and Tim O'Shea, will use a device that collects breath samples from 100 COVID-positive patients and 100 people not diagnosed with the virus. The technology itself is, is um, uh, a newer technology, and essentially what happens is uh, when our cells are exposed to any different type of condition, they they release different compounds. Um, and, and, and it's basically as simple as that. So uh, this technology has been used before to try to detect differences in, in the compounds in people's breath who have lung cancer versus those that don't. Uh, and in other conditions uh, such as COPD, looking just at, at the composition of, of breath and the different kind of chemicals and compounds that are in uh, people's breath who have the disease condition and those that don't. Again, the, the hope is that using that same technology, uh, we'd be able to establish differences um, between people who have COVID infection in terms of what chemicals get, get released by their cells and can be detected in this tool. The trial will take about six months to a year, and if it's successful, the next phase of the study will look into whether this technology can detect which stage of COVID a patient is experiencing based on what is detected in the breath. O'Shea says the ultimate goal is to develop rapid testing that can quickly detect changes in a COVID patient's condition. In Toronto, I'm Brandon Rowe for City News.